So this is Motor Cruiser Shabley and uh, she is Sansir 33 and she's built in 1982. She's fitted with a Thornycroft 154 which is a four cylinder 50 horsepower diesel engine and she's on hydraulic uh, gearbox. Um, she's fitted with shore power, warm air heating, uh, 240 volt immersion heater and her boat safety certificate is valid until August 2022. Um, they're 10-foot uh, ten foot, 6 ten foot beam these boats, um, the Sansiers, and 7-foot in air draft, which makes them very popular on the River Ouse in particular, the Great Ouse I should say, um, because they are of the right dimensions to get through the locks and, and, and low bridges on that river system. So at 7-foot she'd, um, she'd pass under Roxham Bridge, but uh, uh, you'd obviously need a bit of a run-up to get anywhere near Potterheim. In fact, Potterheim is probably out of the question, but uh, Ludden Bridge, um, no problem at all. And uh, and certainly there's no beam issues anywhere on the broads that, uh, that would preclude her from passage. So just walking on the back of the boat here, you can see quite a large cockpit and uh, sliding doors. Boarding ladder there on the port side of the boat. Engines under the port locker lid in the cockpit there, and uh, the batteries in the gas locker are under the starboard locker lid. I'll uh, see if I can open those up and show you um, in just a moment. So, gel coats in reasonable condition she's not painted there's no big obvious bumps and scrapes she was originally a charter boat she was um, run from South Walton and uh, Shabley is probably quite an iconic boat actually that's been voting on the boards for any length of time probably will remember seeing them um, out in charter. Let's take your board. So there's our engine which is mounted in port aft corner of the um, cockpit on a hydraulic drive and uh, that's the hydraulic unit on the back there. Then in the opposite locker we've got battery box and isolators. I believe this is the gas locker. There we are. And then the storage the storage locker just aft of that. So if I just back away. see that those are the locker lids in the cockpit of the boat. So this is the interior of the Sansir 33. We've got the galley unit on the port side, quite nicely covered and stowed away. We'll show you that open in just a moment. Helm position, forward of the galley on the port side and then quite nice U-shaped seating area here on the starboard side. And then just in the aft corner behind the doors there, there's a storage unit and uh, the microwave sits on top there. And our um, 240 volt um, trip box sits just behind the curtains above. So moving forwards, we've got two steps down into the lower area in the toilet and washroom which is on your starboard side. We've got hanging lockers on the port side here. Quite a large hanging locker. 
and then the forward cabin. Forward cabin has an offset berth on the starboard side, quite a good, quite a good size double berth, and then another hanging locker and some draw units on the port side. So if I just go forward and pan round. Jack and Jill door into the toilet compartment, which is locked. Let's just come around the corner here and show you the back of that. So I think the idea with that is that uh, that you've got a private access into the toilet compartment from the forward cabin. So just looking back up at the seating position there, the table drops into the into the gap, and then. We've got infill cushions to turn that into a, into a double berth as well. Here's your helm position. Cold today, bit of condensation on the windows. And that's our dashboard, our engine instrumentation there. And there's the galley. I'll just open the galley lid and show you what's underneath. Okay, so we've got a Voyager cooker, oven, and grill. Got quite a large stainless steel sink there. And then we've got Waco gas and electric three-way fridge. Three 